Roll your window down. I'm like, all right, so I hit the button. Then he's going to take his nightstick, he's going to spin it. He's going to tap on my window. That was your back window. <laughs> Roll this front window down. <laughs> I was fucked up, y'all. So I read I hit everybody. I done popped the hood, got them, had the lights on, and other seat, but I eventually got the motherfucker down. <laughs> then he gonna ask me, where's your driver's license? <laughs> I got them little motherfucker, y'all took them. <laughs> don't tell them that shit. They don't want to hear that shit. Then he gonna say, he said, did you put that seatbelt on after I pulled you over? I said, hell no, I had it on the whole time. Why you ask me that? He said, because usually the seatbelt don't go through the steering wheel first and then click in. I was like, I don't know how the fuck I did it. Got the motherfucker on, goddammit. <laughs> then, I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you've been drinking and driving or smoking and getting high or whatever, you know, don't act like you know the motherfucking law. Because you're going to say more shit to get your ass in trouble. So this is what I told him. I said, look at him. I'll shoot him. I said, God damn it, I know I've been. I was out there. I, I smoked a little bit of beer. But I'm cool, baby. I said, look at him. You can't, be out. you can't pull me over unless you got probable motherfucking problems. I said, I know. I looked down at my feet on and I said, oh shit, I better turn my lights on. So I turned my lights on. God damn it, I was doing 55. I said, now unless you got a problem with the motherfucking call, you can't pull me over and I'll sue you and your whole goddamn sit down here for profiling motherfucking racial and sexual harassment. He said, yeah, you right. I do have to have problem calls. You was doing 55. But you going down the wrong side of the interstate, don't you? <laughs> and then he got a point there. So, and he said, matter of fact, I'm going to give you a sobriety test because you're slurring your words. I said, look at him. I, was, I ain't slurring my word out there. I'm talking in cursing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And see, and I can tell you he was getting agitated with it because he had to wake me up twice, right? <laughs> he said, look at him. I need you to step out like you need a sobriety test. So he opened up the door. I fall out. He reached down, picked me up, leaned me up in the car. He said, here, blow into this. So I take it and I blow into it. I'm like, <laughs> hand it back to him. He's looking at it and I'm looking at him and I'm like, Am I over the limit? <laughs> <laughs> he said, either you over the limit or you just gave me your social security. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to have to arrest you for driving under the influence. <laughs> so he takes his handcuffs and he put it on his left arm, y'all, and put it behind my back. Now, I don't know what happened on the other side of the interstate over there. There's other car <laughs> got out of control some kind of way, skidded and flipped it over twice and landed on his top. Man, that highway patrolman took off across the road, across the medias, over there to where the other car was. I can hear him the whole time. He says, everybody in there okay? How many people do I have in there? And he on the walkie-talker. This is Officer Brown. I'm over here by mile marker number 187. We got a 316 over here. Possibly three people, maybe four. Gonna need some help. Gonna need some backup. Y'all within eight to nine minutes, here come a fire truck, two ambulances, and three more police cars. I'm on the other side of the interstate thinking who is shit. Ain't we got all about me. So I took it on to the house. Then about 6 30 that same morning, that same highway patrol and him and another never at my door with my driver's license. I'm figuring out how the fuck they found me. They said, here, we here to re-arrest you from last night. And then they said, you know, there was an accident out there last like, night. I said, hold on, goddammit, I ain't called that accident now. I said, you can ask that deputy right there. He's the one who gave me a sobriety test on the wrong side of the road. He my goddamn witness. So y'all ain't put that accident on me. And they said, well, can we take a look at your car? I'm like, all right. So I go open up the garage, y'all, and there was the police car with the lights going and everything. <laughs> oh, how fucked up 
we got to be to drive the police car home. God damn it, I was fucked up. And I was wondering why I was driving that road. I'm like, fuck, they ain't pull it over the motherfucker back there, kid. <laughs> and the only thing I can remember was somebody in the back seat talking about, take me home, take me home. <laughs> Stop putting five over the gas in that racket. <laughs>